You've heard of hard water, but what is it actually? How does water become hard? How come some areas the water is soft, other areas the water is hard? Is it something that you should be concerned about for your family? Is it something you should be doing something about for your family? If so, what? Well, don't worry, relax. I'm going to explain it all to you starting right now. Hi, I'm Gary the Water Guy, and I simplify water filtration to help you conquer crappy water for your family. Now, whether you're a homeowner, a plumber, or a water filtration specialist, and you want to learn more about hard water, this video is for you. If you're unhappy with the scale buildup that's being caused by your family's water, and you're concerned about the difficulties that it takes to maintain your home because of the scale buildup, you may have heard that that's being caused by hard water. Hard water is defined as the amount of calcium magnesium that's dissolved in your water, and that's expressed in either grains per gallon or parts per million. One grain per gallon equals 17 parts per million. The harder the water, the higher the amounts of calcium and magnesium in your water. Now, surface water is soft. Water that comes from lakes, from streams, even rainwater, it's all soft. Water becomes hard when it's in the ground and when it uh, comes from wells. So, because water is a natural solvent, so it absorbs the minerals in, in the ground and that's what makes the water hard in the first place. So, if your municipality uses uh, water from wells, it will typically be hard water. If, you're on a, if you have your own private well, again, typically you'll have hard water. So if in your home you have hard water for your family, I'm sure you've experienced a lot of the grief. Not only does it make the home very difficult to keep clean, those, those uh, scale, that scale that builds up on the glass shower doors, that builds up on the dishes coming out of the dishwasher, uh, but there's also a lot of other scale that builds up in a lot of areas you don't see. Inside the valves, inside the, uh, your washing machine, inside your dishwasher, inside um, your coffee maker. You probably heard about descaling your coffee maker. So here's an example of what can happen inside your pipes when you have hard water. Over the years, the, the scale deposits form on the inside of the pipe. And as the, not only do they form once, they form time after time after time. So they build up layers. And as it builds up those layers, the inside of the pipe gets smaller and smaller and smaller. And it can actually clog the pipe. And that's what happened in this case. So how else does hard water cause grief for your family? Well, remember that that scale that builds up, it builds up on every surface. Now, it also builds up on your skin, on your hair, etc. So what that does, and anyone that has um, uh, difficulties with their skin or things like psoriasis or something like that, it definitely inflames that. So how do you get rid of that hard water for your family and all the grief that it's causing? You need a water softener. As water flows through a water softener, it softens the water for your family. And it does that on a continuous basis. But one of the great things about a water softener is after you install a water softener, the buildup that was starting to form, the scale buildup inside your pipes, inside your washing machine, your dishwasher, etc., will slowly start to go away. Because remember, that water became hard by absorbing those uh, minerals, the, the calcium magnesium, since we've now removed it, as the water flows through your pipes, your hot water heater, and all your other water using appliances, and of, and of course your fixtures, etc., it's gonna slowly remove that hardness buildup, that scale buildup inside those pipes. And if you'd like a more complete explanation on how a water softener works, I'll put a link to my video in the description down below. Definitely you wanna check that out. So as I mentioned earlier, different areas have different levels of water hardness. But how hard is too hard? Well, generally speaking, four grains per gallon or less, it's optional whether you'd want to do something about the hardness of the water. If you're getting some scale buildup and it's bothering you, it's making your home difficult to keep clean, definitely go for it. If not, then it's optional. Once you get to seven grains per gallon, or higher, then uh, things change. So at seven grains per gallon, you can't go with a tankless hot water heater because the little pipes, the little uh, pipes that are inside are very small diameter. So it, they will clog very, very quickly from hard water. Um, also an ultraviolet disinfection system. One of the pretreatment requirements is that the hardness is seven grains per gallon or less. So if yours is higher, you'd need a water softener. Once we get up to 10 grains per gallon, the water's considered hard very hard actually, and, uh, and that's where you start to get a lot of staining and a lot of buildup. 
14 and above is extremely hard. And at that level, you definitely want to do something for your family. And if you're looking for where to get more information about water softeners, I definitely encourage you to check out our websites, watereastdoor.com in the US and watereastdoor.ca in Canada, and check out our full line of Hume water softeners. Now keep in mind that water hardness can vary significantly from area to area and from well to well. One end of the city might have one degree of water hardness, the other end might be something different. Also, if you're on a private well, just because your neighbor has extremely hard water doesn't mean that you will. And of course, the opposite is also true. You could be tied into different aquifers, and the only way you know for sure is by having the water tested. So to make your home easier to keep clean, protect your family and your appliances from the scale buildup of hard water, you need a water softener. Click here for my next video on water softeners, and I'll see you there. Any questions or comments, add them down below.